Saturday. I was gonna say Sunday. Today's Saturday, and we are out and about getting some errands done. Um, I'm in the truck right now, waiting on Ty. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Ty, we're up here in Bellmead. Uh, Cheryl is getting her nails done, so um, you'll be able to catch that video of what's going on. I know y'all like her nail videos, so y'all will see that. Uh, uh, probably in a separate video uh, Probably springtime nails uh, 2024 edition or something like that um, So Yeah, so right now So while she's getting her nails done me and Ty are over here at the Walmart I mean, what are the odds of me falling in Walmart again? Y'all It is busy as all when I say it's busy, uh, there's probably no carts, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to go inside. Be glad about that! I was going to hope to go inside, but as you can see, it is busy. I'm going to turn this around. i to see what's going on here. About what you said at Walmart. And I already knew he was batshit crazy from our conversations at Walmart. So, as you can see, it's, it's a lot of people walking around going into the store um you see the walmart workers they trying to get the carts pulled in <laughs> weirdos uh it's just a lot going on and if you can look at the uh uh show you that some of this parking lot here As you can see, the parking lot is full. Yeah, it's it's real full. As I pan it around and show you, it's solid packed. Yeah, so. Right now, they got some police stuff going on right up over there. In the distance, you could probably see them. Somebody had an accident. But, uh, so. So. So as you can see, it's busy for a Saturday. <laughs> so Ty is in there getting a few things that we need. I'm grocery shopping. I'm grocery shopping. Uh, some snacks for office, but we need some water. Stay hydrated. And um, little things like that. But believe it or not, y'all, just for getting some water and a few little oddball items and um shoot it'd be about 70 75 dollars i was thinking offhand what 
the hell? Why are you buying all this crap? The water itself is about six dollars. <laughs> Inflation's a bitch, kids. A case, and we're getting three of them. So that's twenty dollars right there. And then we're getting uh, a couple sodas. Now we get the diet sodas for one thing, and we have now given up on the uh, what they call the dark cola, like you know, like diet cokes, diet Pepsi, diet Dr Pepper, all that. <coughs> Uh, we're going with just clear ones. So it'd be like a Sprite based, uh, Canada Dry, uh, Starry, uh, Mountain Dew, those kind. You can still diet. So uh, we found out from the doctor, the last doctor appointment I had, I was talking to him about this. And they was telling me, you can drink the diet sodas. Uh, just drink them in moderation. Don't just sit and slug them down all day long because you need water. And if you drink too many diets, you know it's zero uh, calories and stuff. You can still maintain weight sometimes by bloatation and stuff. But by all means, they're pretty much within reason. As long as you take care of it, and we do, uh, you can drink the diet sodas and they won't. As long as, and as, long as they're clear, by the way. Um, make sure everything is clear. Find out the clear ones is what they were telling me. Then you would be, mostly you'd be okay. And still won't affect your diet and stuff. So the doctor agreed that, yeah, it's okay. Uh, but stick with the clear ones. He recommended we don't drink the dark color ones. Plus, it's easier on your kidneys and stuff anyway. So the cola kind, the, the dark color kind, have more additives in them. And they got other things in there that you need to be more worried about than just calories. So we're trying to make even a more conscientious. If we're going to drink them, at least go over down to the clear ones. Are you applauding? I am. <laughs> and then, you know, like I said, we don't drink a whole lot anymore like we used to. We're weaning ourselves off of them. And we are drinking a lot of water now, y'all. Believe me, we're drinking a lot of water. We drink these things called ice. They're called ice, but they're flavored water. It's water with some kind of flavoring in them. Uh, zero calories. Check this out. Zero sugar. These are great tasting as well. They are about $1 a piece or about $10 for a case. We are not sponsoring or sponsored by this brand, but we do really think they are worth a shout out. Of course, no preservatives, no added, just a nice sweet taste and fruit, fruit flavor drink. They're really good. They got them at Walmart. They can come in a case. You can find them on Amazon. They're called Ice. I-C-E, just like the ice you put in your drink. Ice waters. Man, check them out, y'all. They are awesome. Uh... I'm going to have to try to get all ICE Corporation to see if we can uh, do something about uh, maybe getting a coupon code or something like that for y'all. Uh, see if we can't sponsor, get a sponsor of them. Because I really love their waters. Their waters are awesome. Uh, I can't say enough good things about them. It's the best ones I've ever drinking. And I could drink them all day long. And you could drink them till the cows come home if you want. Cow came home. They're healthy for you. It's water. It makes it more flavorful. So you want to drink more water intake during the day. Get you some of that ice, y'all. I'm telling you, the ice waters are great, okay? Just so y'all know that. Um, I think they already know it. Also, uh, what was I going to tell y'all? I done lost my train of thought. I'm just looking at how much traffic is, is going on out here, y'all. Just so much going on. Uh, it's just so much going on and so yeah so you know I I just personally just feel like you know I um, I just don't want to be out in that heat no more than I have to uh, it's hard on me and you know I'm still trying to uh, I'm still trying best to lose weight and stuff like that so you know, um, getting out is good. Uh, definitely getting out is good. I also feel like that, you know, I want to eat better. I want to do better. And so this is great. At least I'm getting out again. Before, I would just sit in the house. So I'm starting off slow. Like I said, I would have got out today, but they don't have, probably don't have no more carts. Y'all, the, the carts out here, they're taken. <laughs> They're full. Um, and then, you know, then even if you do get one, it's because so many people have been using them. By the time I get on them and try to go somewhere, 
it'd be beep, beep, beep. <coughs> and then I'm stuck way down, you know, down at the very far end of the store. Your butt's too big! And they talk about, we don't have any more, sir. You're going to have to walk. Was that too mean? Too far for me to walk. So I play it safe in these situations. Uh, we are going to head over to Home Depot. I will get out for that. There's some things I need to look at. I'm still trying to get this window fixed, y'all. Good gosh. Y'all know how expensive it is to replace a, 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 to replace a pane of glass? It's a lot. It's a lot. I called. The glass company said they would charge me $25 for a some people walking real close check it out my truck or something I don't know gotta watch out for people they said that they would you know cut it for me be $25 for a 12 inch by I mean for a 14 inch by 16 inch $25 y'all and I'm thinking the whole time when I called them Eh, six bucks, maybe seven dollars for a pane of glass. Nah, nope, that's not true. I'm not a cheapskate, I just don't have $25. Ugh. So, if I go to glass old fashioned, replace it with just a glass pane and pray that it doesn't get broke and stuff, it'll cost me $25. <laughs> Uh, or if I can go with the what they call plexiglass, which is more durable and you know it's more like the hard acrylic type glass. It's not glass glass. It is glass, but it's plexiglass. I'm spending money I don't have. Some places are using that. Some newer model homes are even going to plexiglass because it virtually is almost impossible to break. Not like you can break it, but it be it's very hard to accomplish that. So even if someone threw a rock at your window and you had plexiglass, it ain't gonna break it, probably bounce off. <laughs> you got a better chance of the plexiglass coming out of the frame itself than it breaking in the frame. It's just how it is. Uh so it's very strong and durable. And somebody might say, Well, why would you not just replace it with a piece of glass if that's what's in there? Well, you know, I'm going to replace the window anyways. Uh, we're talking about doing that later on down the line. We want to just go ahead and put new windows in. And, of course, it'll have, like, you know, the double pane glass ones. But for right now, just so that I make sure that it doesn't rain in there or someone sticks their hand in there or something, you know. Put your hands off. Go! No, go! Because uh, we do have it taped off, but that don't mean that it's, you know, foolproof. You know, somebody still could, you know, basically just kind of stick their hand in there or something. You know, literally, because it's all a hole there. Well, I'm so glad that it's fixed now. The, it made a little round hole, you know, about the size of a golf ball. So, you know, one pain, y'all, got broken totally by the hail. And then another one that had a crack, but it's not where I need to replace the one whole window right now or anything like that how bad can it be how bad can it be so um i'll worry about that one later yeah so um gosh y'all this walmart is is busy yeah you already told me that i i didn't know it was gonna be this busy you look and see right behind me here it's a, a Walmart worker helping somebody now, uh, a little uh, elderly woman. Uh, very nice of him to kind of assist her. Y'all, y'all know how this is. These uh, young men these days, they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to help anybody. It seems like worthless. But now, you know, every now and then, you get uh, people that are willing to do something nice and and do what's right and that's awesome so I uh, I'm very happy to see that that they're still what they say like shivery shiver shiverly shiverly something like that you know ever since I lost this damn tooth right here uh, it's it's hard to talk clear 
Don't you want to get your tooth fixed? And I know some of y'all out there, oh, look at his tooth missing. I know, y'all. I don't like it either. I'm going to get I'm gonna get my teeth worked on. I've just got a whole bucket list of shit I got to do and probably won't get around to half of it. Management, we have a shit ton of work to do. That's what Classy says. Or Cheryl, we call her. Call her Classy at the real estate. That's her rail handle. Classy. And I'm Crazy Chris. I carry that name all day, every day. He's not lying. On the air and off the air. Yes, I know. I gotta get her a haircut. Look at this. Woo! Got alfalfa sticking up. Yeah, my hair is a mess, y'all. Uh, you see that? Woo! I don't know if y'all can see that. See? Now it's sticking up. Just gets all... I'll kind of keep it... Keep from going all over the place. Yeah. Oh, you're so tempted because there's, uh, they moved the super cuts that I was, was going to from down the, the strip mall. They had it next door to a restaurant. They moved it, y'all, right next to literally, well, there's a finance company between there, but, uh, but it's right there. Like right where Cheryl gets her nails done. And I noticed it right away. I said, hey, they moved super cuts all the way down from down there up here. Just making it a lot more convenient if I want to go in there and get a haircut now since she's like literally right next door to get her nails done. Yeah, pretty good deal. So, um, anyways, it's hot out here, y'all. It's hot out here. It's been bouncing between 89 and 92. Something like that. Yeah, so it's it's been it's been doing it. It's been doing it. So people are still coming and going out of the Walmart. All day long, all day strong. Yep. So you can see it's, it hasn't slowed down yet. And I don't think it will. Yeah, it doesn't appear to... Doesn't show no signs of stopping like the song said. Doesn't show no signs of stopping. Some corn for popping. Christmas songs! Christmas songs! <laughs> oh, Lord, we don't want to be thinking about that already. Oh. Christmas is coming already. No! 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 In just a few more months. I know, yeah, I don't even want to think about Christmas. I'm just trying to barely get, think about the summer coming on and how I'm going to get through all this. Kind of keep it on this little old lady that was out here. Uh, brakes were squeaking. Going, ee! So, still waiting on Tyree to come. Tyree's been gone for about uh, almost 30 minutes. While he's slow. Real slow. Not quite. Uh, a little longer than what what I started doing the uh, vlog with y'all, but um, we'll see what happens. So, just you and me, y'all. <laughs> so hopefully he'll be back and uh, hopefully he gets everything done. And so he had. Uh, <clears throat> Ty had got a uh, shopping cart. <laughs> I this y'all, if y'all ain't seen it yet, go check out. I don't know what what uh, what uh, number it is, but uh, you have to go back. You'll see it on the thumbnail if you haven't already seen it. Ty with the shopping cart got hung up in the. Uh, ooh, excuse me, y'all. Yawn. I don't want yawn right on y'all. Ty got hung up inside the Big Lots. Him and uh, Cheryl went in there and they were getting some stuff the other day at Big Lots. And Ty was clowning around with that uh, uh, shopping cart and was trying to do something to catch Mama's attention. And he went on through that aisle and he said, he said, Wee! Hello! Bam! Y'all have to go check it out. Got caught up with them razors and stuff. The whole car was caught up inside the the side of the gondolas and the display. What? This I gotta see. 
and she was like, Ty! <laughs> it was so hilarious. You gotta go check it out, y'all. Y'all gotta go check that out. If you haven't seen it already. But the reason why I'm bringing that up again is because Ty had grabbed the shopping cart. And I knew what he was going to do because, uh, and I see Ty coming now. Let me show y'all. Look at Ty. Let's see if he do it. Yep. Here he comes, y'all. Look at him. He almost hit the curb already. Here he comes. Run into something as usual. Uh, that's what I was talking about. He almost ran into the dang curb. He's an accident waiting to happen. Beforehand. And there he is. And there he is. There's Ty, y'all. There he goes, bringing the stuff in now. Hey, Dad. You okay? Oh, yeah. I know. Talking with the Care Bears. Oh. There he is. I see you found some sort of workaround to recording today. <laughs> Instead of recording in the store, we're recording outside the store. With me. Loading all the stuff into the back. Yes, he is. So he's uh barely lifter. His claps are weak. Yes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know adjusting the camera right now. I'm kind of trying to hurry. I grab everything as quick as possible. Oh, that drop, drop it in your wallet. Don't lose that. Is he always like this when he loses? Yes, always. Shoot, I'm working on a rush, trying to get up. Yeah, but you can't you can't be dropping stuff. Yours. Here you go. Don't be dropping stuff. I'm not gonna be dropping stuff. Yeah. Oh my right. goodness. Y'all saw that he dropped his wallet and just saw it on the parking lot. No, no, I lost my wallet. That'd be all he needs. You got that right. <laughs> Very funny, dude. Ah, uh, Peter, you and your excuses for losing your wallet. Oh, shoot. That wasn't what I was trying to do. Uh oh, you're tearing up shit. I am pretty good at that. Now you gotta be careful when you bring that in the house. Oh, uh, don't worry. And that'll be the first one you have to put in the refrigerator when we need it. Into the thing, okay? Yeah, I know. Since it's already tore open. Yeah, don't worry. You gonna have a spot back to sit on the way back? Of course I'm gonna have You can come up to the front for now, but No, it's okay. I have plenty of room. No, I'm gonna you can still come up to the front. He is still loading it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, finally, the best part, the bags. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. All right, there he is, y'all. He's doing it. Tear him up, man, tear him up. Got everything loaded, almost. He should be coming to the end of it. Yeah, it's only three bags. So, anyways... So as I was saying, it looked, a tie almost hit that little curb when he went over to that uh, shopping cart earlier. I guess he didn't realize it was a lip there, and I seen him kind of straighten his tailbone up. Then I didn't jump on the curb. I just didn't catch the back of the cart first when I went to go running. Oh. I missed that, so I had to try and catch it a second time. Come up with another excuse. I always got an excuse. He know damn well that when he hit that thing. It just went like this, and then it just straightened him up, and then he had to go down to get it where it wasn't the lip. He's slick. Okay, we're He's good. Slick. All right. Put your belt on. Uh, what was, uh, just out of curiosity, how long was that? Because I know it went in that About 30 some minutes. Yeah, that's, that's. <clears throat> oh my. I, I'm out of breath. I right, see, I hear, well, just cool off for a minute. It's hot out there, we know. Uh, yeah, it's scorching out there, Dad. Scorching! Uh, yeah. All right, hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello, everybody. Hello there, how are hey, you doing? You? I'm doing just peachy. So is all the stuff in the back. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little exhausted. How are we supposed to believe that? Trying to rush in there, grab everything we can, and get back to the truck. <laughs> Would have been nice if Dad could come into the uh, store with me, but it was very crowded and very busy in there. But are we really supposed to believe? There's a bajillion people up in that store right now. Are you crazy? So he just sent me alone on my own, and 
you know, I did pretty well. I usually manage well on my own. Otherwise, uh, I'm doing pretty good. Now, what about you, Dad? Yeah, they've been looking at me for the last 20 some minutes, so yeah, I think they know I'm good. All right, so we're gonna head on over there to the Home Depot, and we'll be right back with you here shortly. Let's roll. Well, hey, buddy. I didn't take you inside Home Depot. What a going on was that? So Ty finally found me a cart. He goes, hey, it's got full power, Dad. So we get on it. Y'all know how that goes. It turned yellow. Time you got on it. But we did make it everywhere we wanted to go and did not get no help in her. Home Depot, I'm going to tell you this. Y'all are terrible because I see y'all standing around, sitting around, and y'all don't want to help the customers. We had another customer that kind of helped me out. And then another one Home Depot guy was standing around, an older gentleman, probably about 70. He needed to go home and retire because he just doesn't, had no energy, did he? No. He's like, you can go over there to all this. You'll find it over there. You can go. Dude, man, I'm asking you to help me. But you don't want to help me. Y'all, Home Depot, I'm telling you now, you got to do better. Did you go to Home Depot? Not anymore. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we did get it. I got the acrylic sheet. And now when I put this in, guess what, y'all? If another hail ball, even the size of a baseball hit there, it will not break. I should do all my windows with this. Well, you want to take them out and do them or just wait? No. No, we'll get new windows. We'll get thermal window glass yeah, windows. But breaks. but this is good for a replacement for now. At least I don't have to worry about another one breaking in that corner. Let's just put it that way. A little pricey, but they wanted $25 for the glass over there when I called. This was 17 And then I was panicking because I put the trash bag back. They had 150 trash bags kitchen for seventeen eighty eight, but uh, then I had called, Cheryl called me and she, I said, we'll just order them. You could have them if you want. Well, like I said, we can order them. Okay. So, uh, I ended up getting out of it. Still costed me $36. So, I got there and it goes, please pay. Well, I was over in the show check and I told Brent, I go like this, say, Brent. He said, yes. I said, I need to pay, but guess what? I don't have my Home Depot card. He says, no problem. Come over here. So he come over and he did a couple taps on the screen and he says, go ahead and put your social security number in. Well, the count is in, in Cheryl's name, so I knew I knew what to put in. So I put the uh, security number in on that little keypad push header and then he says, go ahead and enter your driver license number now. Well, I put mine in because I'm on the account too, but she's just the main lead holder. And then, boom, he goes, there you go. He goes, you got two accounts. And he said, which one? I said, well, I don't know which one. I'm going to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. No, don't put it with one that that, had, that was zero. I hope you didn't. Well, I hope not either. We don't know. We selected the one that was on the top, and I think that was the right one. So it was like $36. So it's probably good, that, even if it did, it's probably good we did, because if you don't use them for a while, they'll close them I out. I have used it. You have I've used, used the second it, one? I paid it out, yes. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know. Well, anyways, hopefully I picked the right one, y'all. Cause and if you cause they got the card, you could have gone and got the, the trash bag. I'm gonna order them anyhow. Uh, I, I didn't know that. That was before I, I told you. I said, uh, did you find the card? You said you didn't know. No. If you didn't find it, if you didn't get the card, you could have left the trash bags up there. You could have left the trash bags up there. Time for the fussing. Turn it. Hey. She is pissed off. Anyways, I'm not a minor, y'all. I didn't know which one. You always talking about you logical. <laughs> you said we needed them. I just said you didn't have to get them if you you didn't. Anyways, we can just order them. But that'll be a shipping cost. No, it won't. I'll, I'll explain to you in a minute. Anyways, y'all. So, we end up getting it done. And uh, I did the best I could. Everybody's looking at me like, oh. So, listen, guys, we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and close, uh, close my part of the video out because we're going to go pick up a little something for dinner uh, because it's already at almost 5. And then I, I want to stop getting my lucky lotto ticket for tonight. 
and then uh, we'll be heading on back to the house and time to relax and then we'll eat dinner a little while and um, maybe watch some TV and some, uh, relax watch some movies because I tell you I'm ready for that because y'all them little cars were small and it was very uncomfortable riding on it and I couldn't even keep my legs up in it they're little they, they got them old ones and they're so short I yeah, told and it was very hot and yeah and Ty burned his rear end up <laughs> yeah, there was one sitting out in the sun I thought that one would be all right but it was very low battery and the seat was burning hot yeah he found out the hard would have to sit on when he been outside that there and see nothing <laughs> He burned his backside up pretty good. Grilled like a panini. He said he was grilled like a panini. But anyway. <laughs> All right. So listen, guys. Well, I'll see y'all in the next one. And look out for Cheryl's nail videos. That'll be coming out probably right after this one. Uh, but anyways, uh, Ty, tell what they need to do. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the life of Cheryl and Chris. Help show support today, Care Bears. And remember, we are the Cares. And Karen is sharing, and we're sharing our lives with you. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Bye, everybody. And I picked up the most important package of all. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye. Cameras, you gotta help me. I'm trapped in prison. I'm trapped here behind bars. Got my inmate of the crazy hairy weenie. Got a crazy inmate down there. Guys, if you want to help me and get the key, just subscribe. It's only free. Like, comment, and subscribe today, Care Bears, to get me out of prison. Hurry. Hurry. My hairy inmate, she's crazy. Chris, yeah, yeah.